virtual art class with Mrs. Dion. I am so excited that you all are back with me to make some artwork today. Our objective for today is to make a 3D sphere out of paper mache. Remember last week we talked about with our nature mandalas how the earth, the sun, and the moon are a, they are all spheres. So today I have brought some examples of what we are going to do. This is one example. We are going to cover a balloon with paper mache to create a 3D sphere. In the video that is following, I will show you some simple steps to create your own paper mache project. Okay, so let's get started. I have in front of me everything that you will need to make the traditional paper mache recipe. Today, what you will need is some strips of newspaper. If you don't have newspaper at home, that's fine. You can use any kind of thin paper that you can find. Rip them into about half to one inch strips. You will also need flour and water. Okay, if you don't have flour at home, you can also use glue and water. You will also need a bowl for mixing and either a balloon or you can crumple up newspaper into a ball and cover it with just a paper bag so the paper mache will not stick. So there's lots of different uh, methods to use if you don't have some of these supplies and we'll talk about that as we get going here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do to make your paper mache mixture is mix a one-to-one -one ratio of flour and water. Okay, so just like we did with our salt dough, we're going to pour our flour into a bowl. I'm using about one cup of flour right now. And since I used one cup of flour, I'm gonna use around one cup of water. And like I said, boys and girls, if you don't have flour at home, you could also use liquid glue. And if you want to make this just a little bit stronger, you can pour in a little bit of liquid glue. If you don't have it, that's fine. Okay, now I'm just going to mix this up with my hands until I have a smooth and creamy consistency. So I have this one mixed up already. It's been sitting here. There's no lumps in it. And this is going to work as our adhesive, okay, that binds the newspaper together and it will create our 3D sphere that we are going to make out of paper mache. So I know that in fifth grade, you're working in science on day and night and we are going to create this 3D sphere. Um, I'm going to make a sun and a moon. The possibilities are endless if you would like to create a bowl or you could turn yours into some sort of hanging um, different hanging design from a wire hanger you could do that um, you could paint yours and turn it into like a hanging pinata this is the technique that people use to make pinatas okay same thing we're going to keep on mixing this up until it's nice and smooth Okay, so now that I have my mixture ready, I'm going to take my balloon, and I just like to use a plastic cup or any kind of cup you have at home to set it on so that I have a stand. And you can also set it on that stand when your balloon is drying. I'm gonna take one of my strips of newspaper, put it into the mixture. I'm going to use my two very important tools today, my hands, and I'm gonna put my fingers like a squeegee and just wring off all that extra paste. Okay, and I'm gonna start covering my balloon with a thin layer of newspaper. After this dries, give it several hours or overnight to dry, you can put another layer of newspaper on top of this if you would like to create an even stronger form. Okay, so I'm smoothing down all the bumps. And I know it can get a little bit frustrating because the more you work on this, it's gonna get a little bumpy. But what you'll wanna do at the end is just put a little bit of that mixture paste onto your hands and smooth all the bumps out. 
Okay, so this is going to be my sun. And this one I've already worked on. This is going to be my moon. Okay, you can just put a little paste on your fingers and smooth that out. So I would cover this completely. Now, as this dries, the balloon is going to shrink. So you don't need to worry about popping the balloon or getting the balloon out of your form. It will just stay in there and it will eventually just shrivel up and shrink. Okay, so make sure that if you put some strips horizontal sideways, you're gonna go back and put some strips vertical the other way ensuring that every single bit of that balloon is covered. Okay, when you're done, you're going to lay, well, set that on your cup to dry. And then we will talk about how to decorate or paint your balloon. I just wanna show you really quickly. Okay, if you don't have a balloon, another thing you can do is you can take newspaper And you can crumple this up into a ball like this. Okay, this is if you don't have a balloon at home. Lay a plastic bag so that it won't stick to it. You're just going to gently lay that over your newspaper ball. Now, this would be better to create like a bowl or a form. It would be a little bit harder to make your sphere, but you could to make two sides and then glue them together at the end. Okay, so same technique. I'm going to just wring out my newspaper. I'm going to cover this form. And when it dries, because you have it on the plastic bag, you will be able to just pull that bag out and you will have your form. You can also trim around the edges um, after it's dry. So while your paste is mixed up and you have all this extra paste, make sure that you create um, a couple so that later on if you end up making a hanging mobile or something um, that needs multiple that you have a couple extra made. Okay, so you would cover that and that would be your form. So looking at this one that I've created, you can see that there's just a few lumps. So I'm going to just take my fingers and smooth them out, okay? I will go back in and when this dries just a little bit, I'll put one strip here to cover over that hole. And that's it, boys and girls, very simple, okay? That is a simple technique and method to make a 3D sphere, paper mache sphere. today. Remember this project will need a lot of dry time so please be patient and let it dry in between each coat and each step. Make sure that your parent or guardian is there with you to help you and most of all I hope you all have a lot of fun. I'll see you next week.